Hi guys, I see some of you are viewing. How are we all? How are we getting on? My name's Rebecca and I'll be taking over from Sam just this week for our live class. I'm super excited. Make sure you like um, in the comments and comment and I'll try and give you guys a shout out during the class. We're gonna be doing super work today, getting super active and we're gonna be focusing on some bridges this week. So we're gonna be getting flexy, which I'm gonna do for Sam this week. Don't worry if you miss him, he will be back next week. It's just me for this week. Um, so I'm super excited. What age is this class for? Uh, it's for everybody. Uh, we're gonna get everyone involved, get everyone active. I will be giving you guys options on what to do if you can't do one thing or it's too difficult. I'll be giving you a simpler version. So it's for everyone. Get everyone involved, get everyone at home to do it and share the class around, yeah. So I'm super, super excited, guys. You're gonna need a clear space at home to do your gymnastics. And then you're also just gonna need a bottle of water in case we get a bit thirsty during the class, which I'm sure we will, because we're gonna be working super, super hard. And yeah, I'm buzzing, I'm super excited. So we're just gonna wait for everybody to get on, for a few more viewers to get on, and then eventually we will start our class. Hey Lucy, Coach Lucy. I miss Lucy, I miss all my coaches, and I miss all you guys as well. I can't wait to get back in the gym, but this is the next best thing, isn't it? Super excited. Oh, hi, Avine and Owen are ready from Terranier. Amazing. Super, super excited, guys. Well done for joining in at home. Good job, everybody. Oh, Lucy, can't wait to get started. I'm super excited, Lucy. I hope she's at home doing her gymnastics. Like the good coach she is. I'm just gonna get a drink of water, guys, one sec. So like I said, guys, this is gymnastics for everybody. We have to stay active during this time and get everyone involved. So just make sure you have a clear space at home and some water and then you're good to go. Everybody's doing gymnastics. I think it's about time to get started. Are we ready to do our gymnastics? Yeah, we're gonna start with the warm up. And then after that, we're gonna get into our skills. We're gonna play a few games as well, and we're gonna make it super fun. So we're gonna start off with some jumping jacks, guys. So we're gonna stretch out and back in. Make sure you keep your arms super, super straight. Jumping your feet in and out. Hi, Rebecca, Alicia, and Amber. Thank you for coming on. Good to see you doing your gymnastics at home. Keep on going, guys. Jumping jacks. In and out. Now, we're gonna do some squat jacks. Are we ready? We're gonna squat out and back in. Out and back in, good job. Squat right back down and back in. Right back down and back in. Keep it going, good job guys. Great job at home. Now, this time we're gonna bring our knee to our elbow. Up like this. Hi Ria, how are you doing? Good to see you doing your gymnastics at home. Elbow to knee, keep it up. Keep on going. Now we're gonna reach over our head, ready? Gonna reach this way, that way, this way, that way. Keep it up, good job guys. Great job at home, keep it up. Amazing, now we're gonna do some stretch jumps, you ready? We're gonna push through our toes, up and push through our toes. Keep your arms glued to your ears. Good job guys, keep it up. And push up to your toes. Squeeze up nice and tall. Excellent. Now take a two second break. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Hi Emma. How are you from Temple Oak? My hometown. I miss it dearly. I miss being in the gym, but good to see you here. Right guys. Now we're gonna move on and we're gonna do some more stretching. So we're gonna do big circles back with our arms. Keeping our arms super straight, squeezing our elbows. Good job. And we're gonna circle forwards. Squeeze those elbows, make sure you do big circles. Nice and dynamic. And go in and out, in and out, cross over your arms. Nice big stretches, great job. And up and down, up and down. Great job. Now we're gonna put this hand on our hip. We're gonna reach our arm up by our ears. And we're gonna reach over for one, two, three, four, five, and swap over. Squeeze your arm up by your ear and 
reach over for one, two, three, four, five. Hi to Olivia, not flying. How are you doing? Now we're going to move on. We're going to squeeze up. And can we reach down? Can we do a pike pull? Trying to touch our toes, keeping our knees straight. Great job, guys. And back up and squeeze. Amazing. And snap back down. Squeeze those knees. And back up. Fantastic. Now, this time we're going to separate our legs into a straddle stance. We're going to lay our back flat down to the floor. And we're going to go in front, side, a big circle, and back up. We're going to go in front, side, circle, and up. And again, go front, side, circle, and back up. But again, go front, side, circle, up. Last one, front, side, circle. Oh, fantastic, guys. Now we're going to stretch out our neck. Super important that we don't forget this. We're going to reach over this way, look at the wall. And the opposite direction, look over to the wall. And look up at the ceiling. Big stretch, great job, guys. And then floor. Now can we drop our ear down to our shoulder? And hold it. And the opposite way and hold it, fantastic, go around the circle, and the opposite direction, good job guys, now we're going to sit down on the floor, we're going to stretch out our ankles, today for our skill, we are going to be doing some bridges, we're going to be working on flexibility, one second guys, sorry about that guys, Keep it up, around in circles. And the opposite direction. And swap over your foot. And the opposite direction. Great job, guys. Just wanna check one thing. Okay, and um, we are going to stretch out our wrists. We're going to go forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, rocking our body over our wrists. We're going to face our fingers back towards our knees and we're going to rock backwards. Good job, keep it up. And we're going to put our wrists together this time, guys, and we're going to go from side to side, make sure we stretch out our wrists. Super important when we're doing our bridges. And give them a shake. Can we make a wave? And the other direction. And can we go forwards and backwards? And side to side. Hi to Emma and Daniel Egan from Temple Oak. How are you guys doing? Right, so we've done nearly our whole body. Do we do our ankles? I can't remember, do we do our ankles? We're gonna go up and in, do our ankles around circles. And the opposite direction. And around circles and the opposite direction. Now we've done a small stretch, so we're gonna move on and we are going to do some shapes. I'm gonna take a quick break and take a drink. Oh, hi to Jay, how are you? Hi to Lucy again. Right, this time we're gonna do our shapes. So, who at home knows what our straddle shape is? Okay, our straddle shape is, is we're gonna sit in our bum and we're gonna put our feet apart Point our toes and reach up. This is our straddle shape. Our pike shape is the same thing, except we're going to squeeze our legs together. Make sure our legs are extended, our knees are squeezed, and our toes are pointed. Now we're going to try our tuck shape. Can we bend our knees up to our chin and reach our arms out in front? This is our tuck shape. Okay? So I want to see you do it at home without me. We're going to start off with a straddle shape. Ready? Three. Two, one, straddle shape, show me. Hi to Eva and Temple Oak, how are you? Hi to Avian and Temple Oak too. Okay, good job guys, that was your straddle shape. Now I wanna see pike shape. Remember, pike shape is feet together, knees squeezed, toes pointed. Three, two, one, pike shape. Do you have it? Good job. Okay, and this time I wanna see tuck shape, ready? Three, two, one, knees up, squeeze them super tight. Excellent, so we've got our straddle, our pike, and our tuck. And now I want to see a front support shape. Our front support shape, hands on the floor, feet on the floor, straight back, 
and make sure you hide your ears in between your arms. We super tight. There we have our front support shape. Our back support shape, guys. Same thing, except backwards. We're gonna push our hips up to the ceiling and squeeze super, super tight and try and hold it. So we have tuck shape, pipe shape, straddle shape, front support, back support, and then we're gonna do some dish and some arch. So this time we're gonna do dish, we're gonna lie on our back, squeeze super tight and make a dish shape and hold it. And then we're gonna do our arch on our belly with a straight body, squeezing nice and tight up like this. Now we're gonna play a game. I'll call out a shape and you guys are gonna do it. Are we ready? So we're gonna do straddle shape. Three, two, one, have you got it? Ready, three, two, one. I wanna see a back support. Back support, go, show me. Good job, guys, excellent. This time I wanna see a tuck shape, tuck shape. Three, two, one, go. Fantastic, this time I wanna see an arch. Remember, arch is on our belly. Three, two, one, go. Fantastic, guys, your shapes are amazing. Give yourself a big clap, a round of applause, and a pat on the back. So we warmed up, we have stretched, we've done our shapes, and now I think we will get into our skills. So like I said, this week, we are going to be focusing on our bridge and our crabs. So for anyone that doesn't know what a bridge or crab is, we're gonna try learning this week, and we're gonna do some preps in order to be able to get ourselves there. So we're gonna start off with some glute bridges. So your glute bridges, you're gonna lie on your back. And when you lie on your back, you're gonna make sure that your feet are directly under your knees when you bend them. And we're gonna squeeze our bum up off the floor and hold it. And then we're gonna go back down. And we're gonna try squeeze up nice and tall, squeeze your bum, and back down. If you don't know where your feet should go, when you straighten out your arms and lie down beside you, your fingers should just graze off your heels. That's the length that your feet should be away from your head and you're gonna squeeze up and back down. And squeeze up and back down. Now, we're gonna do 10 of them. Do you think we can do that, guys? So you're gonna do them with me and we're gonna do 10, ready? Three, two, one. We're gonna go up, back down. That was one, two, back down, three, Back down, good job guys, four. Back down, make sure you're squeezing, five. Back down, six. Back down, good job, seven. And back down, eight. Back down, fantastic. Nine, back down, and 10. Good job guys. So this is gonna work up the muscles that we need in our legs in order to be able to do our bridges and our crabs. So all these bits are super important if we want to be able to do the end skill. Take a two minute break if you need it guys, get some water, get your breath back. Now, next of all, we're gonna do some baby bridges. So these are before we do bridges, we try to do baby bridges. They're like a simpler version, but it's still using the same muscles to stretch. So we're gonna get down on our knees, but we're gonna Sit up tall. Our bum is not down touching our ankles. It's up in the air, it's squeezed forward. You can put your knees apart because it makes it a little bit easier when we're starting off. And what we want to do is we want to push our hips forwards to the wall in front of you. Hold your ankles and look at the wall behind you and hold it. Great job and come back up. So the aim is, is that we can hold that for 20 seconds, do you think we can do that? If you get too tired and you need to stop, just come back down and you can get back into it when you can. Ready? So we're gonna push our hips forward. We're gonna hold our ankles. Look at the wall behind us. Big archy back for 20, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Come up and take a short break. Can we feel a stretch in our back? Yeah, good. And again, for another 10, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Great job, guys. Now, to stretch our back out the other way and give it a break. We can curl down into a ball and hold it there for a few seconds. So we've done our glute bridges. We've done our baby bridges. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Zoe. How are you? And next of all, we are going to move on to a slightly harder baby bridge. Now, this one might be a little bit too hard for some of you guys, and that's okay if it is. You can take a step back, and if it's too difficult, I want you to keep on doing those baby bridges. But this one, if you're slightly more advanced, you can squeeze your arms up by your ears, and you're going to try, arch your back, and touch the floor behind you, and come back up, and squeeze. It's really difficult. I'm finding it really difficult, especially being out gymnastics for a while now. But we can keep on trying, so we're gonna squeeze our arms up, Push your hips forward, arch your back, try to touch the floor, and squeeze back up. And we're ready to go again. I've done two, I'm gonna do five. So do, try to do the next three along with me if you can. If not, hold that baby bridge, ready? We're gonna go one. Great job. To get back up, we need to squeeze our core muscles. Our dish will help with that. Two, squeeze back up. Great job, and ready for the last one. Three. Oh, fantastic. Give yourselves a clap. They were amazing baby bridges. Good job, guys. Right. This time, we're gonna try some actual crafts, guys. So, once again, if we can do crafts and they're too difficult, take it back a notch. Yeah, you can do your baby bridges, you can do any of the things that we've just done instead. Because the more we practice them, the more we do press, the easier the skill will become eventually, okay? So, so um, we're going to lie on our back. And when we do our crab, we want our fingers, our tips, to be facing towards our heels. Now guys, I will be running a class tomorrow. It's a more intense, cl intensive class. It's a more difficult class where I'll be doing more difficult skills. So if you're finding this a bit too easy, make sure you come along to my class tomorrow and we'll be doing more harder skills like this. Hi, Sahar, it's a good woman. If you can do it, you should try our class tomorrow. That's great. So like I said, we're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna point our fingertips down towards our heels when we lie on our back. We want our hands directly under our shoulders. We're gonna put our feet apart and we're gonna straighten our arms out, straighten our legs out and try to push our hips up towards the ceiling. Ready? Three, two, one, and push. Good job, can we hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and back down. So guys, like I said, three important rules when it comes to crabs and bridges. Make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders before you begin. Make sure that your feet are close into your bum and your heels are nearly touching off your bum so you can get a really strong push off the floor. And when you're coming back down, it's super important that we look at our belly button so that we don't catch our head and our neck in the floor. Okay? It takes time and it takes a lot of practice to get a difficult skill like a bridge and a cross. So you really, really need to do all your practice before you can do this kind of stuff. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna try our crab again. If you can't do your crab, make sure you do those press. Feet flat on the floor, fingertips to your heels. And we're gonna push up and we're gonna hold it this time for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, straighten out those elbows, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Excellent job, guys. I wonder, do any of you at home know the difference between a bridge and a cross. Do you? Well, if not, I'm gonna tell you the difference. I'm sure those of you do them. A crab, we have our feet apart and our knees bent. A bridge is like a crab, except our feet are together and our knees are straight. Okay, so it's slightly more difficult. In order to be able to do our bridge, we really need to stretch our shoulders. So we're going to do some shoulder stretching now, guys. Okay, so we're going to slide down our belly. We're going to stretch our back and our shoulders, because why not? Lie down our belly, and we're going to push up to a seal stretch. We're going to push our hips down. 
down towards the floor and our shoulder blades together at the back. Make ourselves nice and tall. Make a nice big arch in our back. Good job. Look over one shoulder. And the other way. Fantastic. Look up the ceiling. And back down to the floor. Now, this is where we're going to stretch our shoulders. You're going to walk your hands out and you're going to push your armpits down to the floor and make a big arch in your back. Stick your bum up in the air. Good job, guys. Make sure that your bum isn't touching your heels. You need your bum up in the air when you do this stretch. And this will really stretch our shoulder flexibility, which is very important when it comes to bridges and crabs. So we're going to stretch forward our backs. Big arch, great job, just like we did at the start with our shapes. And shoulder stretch, push those armpits down to the floor, great job. You guys are fantastic at home, amazing job, really, really good. So, this time, we're gonna try our bridge, okay? If we can. If we're finding crab difficult, stay at the crab. And if you can't do your crab, do your baby bridges. But for anyone that can do their crab and feels like they're able to advance up, we're gonna do some bridges. So, like your crab, your hands go flat in under your, under your shoulders. Your feet are together, your heels are touching your bum. And we wanna push up and straighten out your knees. And we're gonna try hold for five, four, three, two, one. Great job, guys. In our bridge, we want to make sure that our shoulders are pushing over our wrists and being fully extended. Hi to Amy, Sienna, and Callum, participating from Temple Oak. I wonder if you guys miss Temple Oak just as much as I do. I know I'm really, really missing it, really missing the gym, but it's amazing to see you guys here. Good job, everyone at home. So, we've done our glute bridges, our baby bridges, our crabs, our shoulder stretches, and our bridges. So will we go back over and do them all one more time? Because I'm sure you guys have been doing Sam's homework at home, and I'm gonna give you homework to practice over the week too. And this is all these preps. That's what I want you to practice this week. So we're gonna start off with our baby bridge. Remember, we wanna hold our ankles, push our hips forward, and look at the wall behind us. And hold them for 10, nine, Good job. Now we're going to do a few baby bridges. Arms up. If you can't do them, take a step back. Hold that position we did last. We're going to go one. We're going to go two. Good. Engage your core when you're coming back up. Really squeeze your stomach muscles. Three. Good. Four. And one last one. Five. Good job. Make sure you take a break if you need to. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Now, we've done our baby bridges, so we're gonna do some crabs. We lie down on our back, hands under our shoulders, feet in nice and close to our bum. And we're gonna push up. And this time in our crab, can we do little rocks forwards and backwards? For 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. These rocks that we do in a crab, guys, it's another prep you can do, and they help to stretch out our shoulders and make our bridge even easier. Hi to Zoe and Jen. They're missing Temple Oak. I am too. Miss you guys. Right. So this time, our bridge, but what do we need to do before our bridge? We need to stretch those shoulders. So we're gonna start in our belly, push up to a seal stretch. And make sure you arch your back super tight. You can look at the wall behind you to get an even bigger stretch. And push back into a dog stretch. Push your armpits down to the floor. If this is too easy, this stretch, and you can't feel a stretch in your armpits and your shoulders, you can cross one wrist over the other and you'll get an even bigger stretch. And then you can swap over and do the other one. 
Good job. Now, I'm gonna watch these bridges at home. You ready? You're gonna do a bridge. So you're gonna put your hands under your shoulders, feet together, push up, straighten out your legs. I wanna see everyone at home who can do it, doing it. If you can't, do your baby bridges. Ready? Three, two, one, push up. Oh my God, fantastic bridges at home, guys. Good job. Excellent. Very, very impressed. And you can come back down. If your back feels really stretched and sore after you do a bridge or a crab, we can rock our back in a nice tight tuck shape that we learned at the start. And it will stretch it out a little bit. So it doesn't feel as sore when you feel stretching. Guys, that was absolutely fantastic. Good job. So, we've done our bridges now and we're gonna do a quick little stretch of our legs as well because I don't know, but I don't think Sam can do splits last time I checked. So I'm gonna cover it for him a little bit this week. So to stretch our splits, we're gonna put one foot in front into a lunge position. In our lunge, we want our toes facing forward, pointing in a straight line. And we're gonna put our hands on our hip and we're gonna bend our foot knee. We should feel a stretch up the back of our knee and the back of our leg at the back and we're gonna hold it. Great job guys, keep it going. And we should feel a stretch up our back leg when we do this one. Can we swap over? Feet in front of one another, toes facing forward in a straight line. Bend your front knee, should feel a stretch up the back of your leg. Great job, keep it up guys. I know I can feel a stretch, it's been a while. And this time, we're gonna put the other foot in front again. We're gonna keep both our legs straight. We're gonna pull our toe up at the foot. And we're gonna try to reach forward. Can you reach forward? Can you touch the floor? Oh, fantastic. Keep those legs super straight. If it's too big of a stretch and you can't do it, keep your feet in the floor and reach forward. If that's easy, pull your toe back and reach forward. And stand back up again, great job. Other foot in front, straight legs. Pull your toe up at the front. If it's easy and you're super flexible, and reach forward. If it's too difficult, drop your toes to the floor. Good job. Now we're gonna go down a little level lower. We're gonna put the other foot in front again. And we're gonna make this shape with our legs. We're gonna have our back knee right under our bum and our body and our front toe in front of our knee. But then we're gonna lunge into it. Make sure when you lunge into it that your knee isn't going up past your foot. And push yourself down, use your hands, push yourself down. And we're gonna swap over, great job. Other foot in front. We're gonna have our toe in front of our knee when we're up here, but then when we push down, it should go right over. Push down, use your hands. Great job at home, guys, you're doing fantastic. Good job. Now I'm going to show you a little stretch that we can do at home to be able to do a box split. So those two stretches are really good for getting to your split. And now we're going to do a little box split stretch. We're going to separate our knees and we're going to do a frog split. We're going to put our elbows down to the floor and sit like this for a little while. You're trying to push your hips down towards the floor as far as you can go. If that's super easy, try to lay your chest flat down on the floor. And hold it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, give yourself a huge round of applause. Huge one, everybody at home, I wanna hear you. That was an amazing class. I really enjoyed it, guys, and I hope you did too. Don't forget, like I said, we have another class tomorrow with me. I'll be doing more of an intensive class. So a little bit higher difficulty. So if you want to come along to that too, make sure you do. Tell all your friends about it if they want to do it at home. Gymnastics is for everyone. Um, and yeah, I'm super, super excited guys about that. Make sure you like, comment, and share our, your pictures on Instagram. Don't forget to do that. Make sure you share everything you're doing at home. We want to see it all, because it really keeps us going at the moment, and we love to see what you're doing at home. And apart from that guys, Thank you for coming along. I really, really appreciate it, I do. 
and I'll see you all tomorrow or hopefully in the near future. Bye bye guys, thank you, thanks. Bye guys, see you.